Hello guys, welcome to the second video tutorial on Python programming for beginners. In the last video, I have given you introduction to Python and I have shown you how you can install Python on your Windows operating system. And uh, I have given you a little example how you can use this Python IDE called Idle for the first time. Okay. So in this video I'm going to continue and I'm going to show you how you can use numbers and uh, uh, math in Python. So if uh, you are uh, familiar with this, uh, last time I have shown you how to open this Python shell, right? If you don't know uh, how to open this shell, once again I'm going to tell you, you just need to go to your start menu and just go to python folder and just start this idle python gui from here and it will open uh, this kind of gui shell or python shell here now let's get started and let's see how we can do uh, math in python so uh, like a simple mathematics uh, python can also do the maths uh, for you so for example you want to add 5 plus 98 it will give you the answer 103 you you can even add uh, minus values so minus for 34 plus 4 for example and it will give you the answer 30 okay in the same way you can do the subtraction 56 uh, minus uh, 34 it will give you the answer and it will also uh, give you the negative value if you provide the value such as for example 34 minus 56 it will give you the negative value okay now for division uh, what you can do uh, you can just write uh, for example 21 divided by so this is the symbol we use for divisions which is slash for example 27 uh, 21 divided by 7 is 3 which gives you the answer and if you want to divide the number and get some decimal values for example 23 divided by 7 will give you 3.28 something right so this will also give you decimal values now for example you don't want uh, this these decimal values after the division you just want to uh, see the whole value or the integer what you can do you can just write 23 double slash 7 and this will give you the whole number which is 3 okay you can even so this this number is a uh, integer and what is an integer integer is the whole number right you can even use decimal values which are called float in programming. Float values are values which have some decimal points. For example, 57.2345 or whatever, divided by 3.2222. Okay, and press enter and it will give you an answer. So you can even divide decimal values like this. Okay, and Remember this whenever you want to get the whole number, just use double slashes. Now, for multiplication, multiplication is also simple. For example, you want to multiply two numbers 56, multiply. So, for multiplication, you use this asterisk symbol or star symbol simply. So, this star symbol or asterisk symbol will uh, be used as a multiplication symbol. Okay. So 56 multiplied by 4 is 2 to 4. So you can use multiplication like this. Okay. Now, for example, you want to get the exponent of some number. What in what is an exponent? Exponent is something like, uh, for example, 2 exponent 3 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. Okay. So 2 into 2 into 2. This is the exponent so you can do it like this and it will give you the answer but if you want the exponent for, for example 2 to the power 15 how you can do you can do something like this 2 multiplied by 2 multi 
not like this, but 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, 15 times and this will be ln v, right? So the simple way to find the exponent is use double asterisk or double stars and then the power. So 2 to the power 15 is 3, 2, 7, 6, 8, okay? Or 2 to the power 5 is 32. So this double star or double asterisk we can use to get the power or exponent of your numbers, okay? Now you may be wondering uh, what may be the order of uh, your operations. Which operation will take place when you have multiple, uh, multiple operation at the same time? For example, I want to do 3 multiplied by 4 plus 5 minus uh, 6 and then divided by 1 or uh, not 1 but 2 for example. So what will be the order? Will 3 into 4 will happen first or 4 plus 5 will happen uh, 4 plus 5 will happen first or 5 minus 6 will happen first or what is what will be the priority okay or what will be the order of this operation so uh, like simple mathematics uh, if you uh, remember uh, when you are were in school and or if you are in school still you know this uh, basic formula called P E M B A S okay so this is the order in which your operations will take place and this p stand for parenthesis e stands for exponents m stands for multiplication d stands for division a stands for addition and s stands for subtraction okay and the way you remember this is you can just uh, abbreviate it as please excuse my dear aunt Sally if you, if you want to remember this order okay and so this will be the uh, priority or this will be the order of your operation so if you want to prioritize something and close the those uh, operation in the parenthesis so if you want to do 3 plus uh, 4 and then multiplication or you want to multiply by uh, 5 then the priority of this addition is uh, the most important or, or this will happen first because this operation is enclosed in parenthesis and then this will happen okay and then the, uh, the uh, order will be like P E M B A S if you can remember so for example i want to do something like this divide by um, 6 minus 2 then the parenthesis priority will be the first and then the multiplication and then the division and if you have some subtraction then this will happen at the last okay so in this way you can use numbers and math in your python programs i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now